I quite often get asked by people and students, what's the easiest way to use Microsoft Word to create my reports? What's a really effective way to do it? Well, in this movie, I'm going to create a report. I'm not actually going to write the whole thing, but I'm going to create the structure of my report. It's going to have a cover sheet, a table of contents, a couple of chapters, and an appendix. I'm just going to write those headings. So let's start by putting in the name of my assignment, whatever it might be. Let's say, for example, we're, we're at a college and we're going to create construction materials assignments. So let's make it 5.07 and construction materials. So 5.07 construction materials. We have the ability to check the spelling. So we'll change that to materials. And we also have some tricks in, in writing documents where we can make autocorrect, which I'll show you in a minute. So first of all, construction materials. Do we want to have no style? Do we want that to be a title, for example? That's a great way to, to get the, the style that you want. So let's make all of that bold. Uh, let's change this to, uh, what's the one I like? Tecton. Let's find Tecton if I can. They may not be here. So I'm going to choose Arial Narrow if I have it. No, I've got Arial Rounded. Cool, there it is there. It's bold, I don't like it so much bold, so let's turn that back off. And now what I should be able to do is to right click on my title and then say update title to match selection. So I've got something selected here, I update that, now every time I create a title, it's going to look like this. So I'm going to put my name, my name, date, etc. And if you want these to have that title, you can select them, click on title, and it gets that. So now I want to create a page, another page. Now I'm actually using, if we go back to view, I'm using print layout so I can actually see what my pages look like. And I'm going to go uh, command or control and then the enter key or the return key. And that creates a new line, which is going to be my table of contents. Do that again. This is chapter one. Chapter one. So. Here we can write something. And chapter one might have headings, so there might be a part to this. So let's call this uh, section 1.1. And there might be another section, section 1.2. So this wants to be a heading. And we'll go back to home. This is going to become heading one. And this one is going to become heading two, and this one heading two as well. I spelled it wrong, don't worry, right click, change it to section. I'm going to copy those, and then I'm going to go and use my command or my control, return or enter, paste. This is chapter two, 2.1, 2.2, and so on. Do that again, command enter, this is the appendix. And the appendix also wants to have a heading. I'm going to give that heading one. This might be appendix one. And this is another one, appendix two. Cool. Now let's go back to where I started. So back to the top of the page here. Uh, that was my cover sheet. Now I need to put in a table of contents. Let's go to references. Just here, insert a table of contents. And there it is. Now this is an automatic table of contents. I just have to hit the enter key to get that down. Uh, so here we are, we've got chapter one, chapter two, appendix one, appendix two. Now watch what happens here. If I start adding a section heading there, let's add that. Let's go that and we'll add section 1.3. Now let's go back to my table of contents. Here it is here. So we click on that table of contents. Now it's dropped me down to that chapter because I actually clicked on here. If I click there, it'll take me to that. If I click there, it'll take me to that. So let's click in there and you just see this little bit up here, table of contents. So you click there, let's update the table, update the entire table. And you can see it's added some parts for me. So section one point, this one here, this is, if we go back to home, that's heading three, that should actually be heading two. 
this one should also be heading to and I think this is already heading to now let's go back to our table of contents we'll update it again there's my table of contents there's my little arrow let's update my table update the entire table and there it is so it's actually changed the formatting of these you can see that's heading two that's heading three so this is a great way of getting started now you can start to put your information into your report and you know that every time you update this and update the table update the entire table it will completely update and the trick with this is using these styles these graphic styles up here now I think I've actually got a page I don't need so I'm going to hit my delete key to get rid of that page didn't quite work so do that again that should have done it yeah back to my construction materials so that's my cover sheet it's my table of contents and there's my information and I can start adding notes and start adding parts to that now I use a program called Vectorworks a lot so there are a lot of things that I talk about in Vectorworks that I want to have a auto correct for one of them is the object info palette info palette and I'm going to select all that and copy it copy so if we go up to word and preferences and we're looking for autocorrect should be here under autocorrect and I have a bunch of choices here these are all the choices that word will automatically correct for me so I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to type in here I'm going to go object info palette and you can see I've actually got this somewhere in my computer as a uh, object info palette let's go across to that replace with object info palette let's add that and I've actually created a lot of these I'm not sure if they're in here they actually in the, the Macintosh will do this as a system wide anyway let's say for example we're talking about buildings and we want to have a galv Galv. So we're going to replace that with galvanized, uh, powder coated flash, and this is going to become a powder coated flashing. Powder coated flashing, let's add that one as well. PC flash. Okay, so that should have enough now. I should be able to type in galv types in galvanized PC powder coated flashing so it can be really useful if you put in the autocorrect as well it can really speed up you just have to look for the phrases or the words that you use a lot so I'm going to add a new one which is my email signature email sig and I'm going to replace it with something I've just copied so I'm going to replace a whole lot of stuff okay let's add that and see what we get email sig All right let's be done with that let's type in here email sig and you can see it's put a lot of information now it didn't split it up the way that I wanted which was to put the page breaks in it for me but at least it did copy all of the text I used to use one on my computer when I was writing a lot of training manuals which would be uh, menu bar and it used to write go to the menu bar click on and it would it was really useful so the autocorrect can be really useful for speeding up the sort of things that you do so we've covered how to start your report how to create a cover sheet how to use styles how to use styles to build a table of contents and how that table of contents can be updated as you add to your document so the easiest way to write a report is to create all of your chapters first and then go and fill them in if you do this first and create your table of contents at least once you start writing your report you'll be able to have everything in the order that you want thank you for joining me